It is 7.19 p.m. If you folks have been watching the videos here on the YouTube channel, then you all know that I have been here in Edmonds, Washington State for the last few days. As a matter of fact, I have been fishing the Edmonds Fishing Pier quite heavily, right? And um, guess what? We're hitting the pier tonight again. I know, I did tell you since video one that we were going to shoot a bunch of YouTube videos over here, right? But just because we're doing some nighttime fishing, that doesn't mean that this video is going to be the same as all the previous ones, right? Of course not. I am, after all, Mr. Diversity. Well, okay, all jokes aside, let me tell you what we're going to do on this YouTube video, all right? We're going to do some nighttime steel fishing. There is a species of fish here at the Puget Sound that is really, really cool. And I really want to get it on video for the YouTube channel. You guys have probably seen a photo of it already because it was one of my lifers for this fishing trip, but I am not going to sugarcoat it. I am shooting this video a little bit for selfish reasons as well. I really just want to have a record, you know, of a video in the future, like you guys are watching right now. I want to be able to watch this video in the future and kind of look back to the strip, right? And reminisce and just be like, I remember the day that such a cool species of fish showed up. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, sunset is coming. It is getting dark. And in order to catch this fish, cut bait is really, really good. So I'm going to head to the pier right now and try to catch some smaller species of fish before night falls. Ladies and gentlemen, the situation is dire. We do not have a lot of time left. Once evening comes, two things happen on this pier. The first one is the bait fish are much, much harder to catch during nighttime. And the second is the squidding crews it start to show up. So I kind of need to secure my spot before all the gazillions of people come here with the squidding jigs you know what i'm saying i got my high low rig here ready i'm gonna use some of the cheap shrimp that i've been using in the last two episodes here on the channel and god willing we are going to catch some bait fish i'm on fish oh that was a better bite definitely got some dinks down there definitely got some dinks the dink master knows the Dink Master knows, look at that. And this is actually really good bait too. Oh yes. This is something that you guys haven't seen yet, huh? Look at that, this is prime cut bait right here. This is what they call a Pacific Tom Cod. And this is going to be really good bait for the nighttime fishing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, son. Size 10 barbless hook put in all the work here during sunset. Yes, a few more of these, and we're going to have a nighttime fishing session filled with cool species. I'm not gonna lie, folks, realistically speaking, I was expecting a shiner perch, but secretly, I was really praying that these dudes would show up. This is actually really, really good bait. I'm going to kill this one right now, and if I could catch five more of these, or maybe seven more, I would be very, very happy. I'm actually quite happy that we were able to catch some bait before nighttime came and the micros stopped biting. You gotta realize it is my reputation as the dink master on the line. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, I think we're all set for the evening. It's still fishing. Check this out. I ended up catching four of the shiner perch and five of the Pacific Tom Cod, right? So we got enough bait for tonight, for sure. Now I would like to emphasize before we continue that the tiny ones that I have here in this container, they are the Pacific Tom Cod and not the Pacific Cod. These two species are very similar to one another, but the Pacific Cod over here is actually closed season, right? There is a very easy way to distinguish them, to tell you all the truth, all you need to do is look at their asses, right? And if their asses is right under the dorsal fin, as you guys see in this photo, then you got yourself a Pacific Tom Cod. 
Okay, I'm gonna set up my second rod now because we're definitely not still fishing with the ultralight, right? I'm gonna show you how I'm going to hook the fish and hopefully that real cool species is going to show up soon. Okay. I'm just finishing up the rig that I'm going to be using for steel fishing, right? I mean, there is really no secret when it comes to the stuff. This is my typical cat fishing rig. I'm using my Pan Pursuit 2 medium heavy rod with my Pan Slammer, right? And I mean, rig wise, it's really just a slip sinker set up with two ounces sinker, swivel, 30 pounds test line leader and we are still using barbless hooks okay i'm using a size 4 gamakatsu barbless over here now when it comes to hooking the bait no secret either right i really like the belly portion because it has all the guts and everything the head and the tail are good too i mean we're going to be using a little bit of everything but barbless hooks just hook it through the back of the meat just like that through the skin right and that's about it you know it is really that easy the rest is just casting out there and waiting for the fish to bite i know that the footage is very likely going to be a little bit funky from now onwards i'm just going to cast this right in front of me here is wing it out there and just let it sink all the way down it is about 25 to 30 feet right in front of me and that's about it you know just leave the rod down here I'm gonna put my book bag on top of it and set my drag just a little bit loose, right? Just in case, cause you just never know what's going to hit. The rest of the evening is just the waiting game. As I told you guys in the first YouTube video over here, Washington State is one rod per person, right? So obviously we're soaking bait with only one rod. You know what, now that I think about it, this is the authentic one rod, one reel fishing over here. Look at that. Doesn't get more authentic than that. Look at that. One rod, one reel. Fi <laughs> All right, let's soak. Let's wait. <laughs> Hopefully the fish is going to bite soon. I actually like it a lot that they have this little hose right over here because I'm about to wet my Euro Tackle ruler over here. Just in case we do land one, there was a little accident this afternoon, you see, with my uh, with my jackal egg bucket, RIP. So this is going to be temporary with just some water on top. You guys see this? You guys see that? You guys see that? We just got our first hit of the night on the Tom Cod. I don't know if it is our target species or not, but we're gonna reel this baby up here oh yeah that may be it that may be what we're looking for ladies and gentlemen it's pretty big too look at that rod band they actually fight like catfish the species that i'm looking for let's see is this it i think this is it this is it oh yes yeah, son look at that that's what we're looking for one of the coolest species in the puget sound the spotted ratfish. Let's put this baby on the Euro Tackle ruler. Now that is what I call a beauty. Look at that. If you go with the tail, that's about 21 inches. The cool thing about this particular species is that this is a type of chimera. Look at that. It's a deep sea type of fish, right? And this is one of the few species, really, if not the only one, that you can actually catch here at the Puget Sound in relatively shallow water. Just before I release it, look at the markings on the head of this fish. I'm telling you, this thing is like ancient. All right, let's release this dude now, okay? Boom, down it goes. And I took photos of it, you know? I didn't want to keep it outside of the water for too long, so I'm just going to put the photos here in this video so that you guys can really come to appreciate the beauty of this creature this is a species of fish that seriously you know you just don't get to catch it or even see it in person very often when i came here to the to this particular pier the edmunds pier here at puget sound right this was one species of fish that i really really wanted to catch and thankfully a few days ago i added it to my life list 
Let me move the fishing rod a little bit so people can actually pass over here. But yeah, it didn't really take that long, you know, for that fish to actually bite. Put the tomcod down there, 10 minutes, started to bounce. Let's see if we can land something a little bit different or maybe even a bigger one. Stay tuned. That's what's up, you know. The secret is in the cut bait, man. Little Pacific Tom Cod. Let me tell you, the fish really love this stuff. Just drop it right in front of me. Don't even really need to cast it out. And just let it sink all the way to the bottom. I did tell you guys that you can find them relatively shallow. But this is still like 25 feet of water right over here. So... Yeah, that is like relatively shallow. I'm trying to get a spotted redfish. Spotted redfish? Yeah. You think you'll catch something right now? Yeah, I think so. I mean, give it or take another 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. But what kind of jig are you using for that? Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying to catch fish on this one right here. Uh, okay. I'm using cut bait on this. Cod bait. Okay. A cut bait. Oh, Just cut, like cut, fish. Like meat meal. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. uh, I see. You guys going for the squid? Yeah, we'll try. All yeah. right, sounds good, man. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, first time. Sounds this, good. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Hey, we got a hit. You see how that rod is moving right over there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got a fish on here. We got a fish on here. This thing's like catfishing, man. I'm telling you, this is like saltwater catfishing. Now let's see if this one's on. The gentleman was just asking me when's the next time I'm going to catch a fish. Yeah, little Hindu man. Three minutes after he walked away. Actually, not even that. Like one minute. I think it's another spotted redfish. Kid you not. Having a blast. They don't fight like they good, but. All right, let me flip it up here. Angle's gonna be a little bit odd for you guys. Flip it. Yay, son. Look at that. That's like a wild looking creature. If I had my photo tank, thanks man. If I had my photo tank over here, it would be much easier for me to show it to you guys. But without it, it's just really the Euro Tackle ruler. You gotta be very careful with this dorsal fin over here. It's venomous. <laughs> it almost got me right over there. Yeah, all right. Check that out, huh? You gotta throw it back. Look at that, huh? That's beautiful right over here. It's a spotted redfish. Yeah. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. All right. Ooh, I've been fishing over here for a few days already. So I know how conditions over here change a lot. Nighttime here at the Puget Sound is definitely brutal. If you guys ever come here, just remember. If they say it is going to be 60, 65 a night, and you think, you know, hey, 65, right? No, make sure that you bring the layers, okay? Because it definitely, it's one of those moments that is like 65 feels like 45 type of thing, especially with the wind. Anyways, at least the bite has been hot. That was the second spotted redfish, right? In less than 30 minutes after we started to soak bait, so that is really good. I also lost my bait a few times because it is not just the fish that likes to eat that little Pacific Tom Cod, right? As you guys can see the sign right behind me over here, there are a bunch of different types of crabs over here. And I've caught like two crabs since I've come here on hook and line, right? Threw them back, all bycatches. But yeah, you throw your cut bait down there. If you don't get a bite in like five, 10 minutes, you need to check because chances are the crab got it. I'm going to stay out here for a little bit more, even though it is pretty chilly. I want to either catch a bigger one of those or you never know when a lifer is going to show up, right? I guess we're going to find out soon enough. The other night I was here soaking bait too, but instead of casting to the left side over here, I decided to cast to the right side and let me tell you right over here just casting that direction I actually landed two Pacific staghorn scoping that were actually pretty big it was a new lifer for me 
But tonight, you know, I still want to stick with the ratfish, so I'm not going to cast to the right. I'm just going to cast it one more time over here. Boom, there we go, to the left side. Because you just never know, right? I was just shooting my stuff over here, and I kind of saw my rod move a little bit. But I don't think it was a fish. I think we may have been robbed yet by another crab. Oh yes, 100%, look at that. Oh, wait a moment. Is it fish? No, it's crab. It's crab. I was just talking about crabs, man. I think it's a crab. Yeah, it's a crab. You guys can't see it, but it's a big crab, man. I was just talking about them too. Look at that. Look at that. I was just talking about these dudes. Oh, dude, the crab fell from the hook. But that's a mean crab from the Puget Sound. We're going to, oh, easy, easy. We're going to identify the sucker right now. Black pincers and red. Which one is that? Definitely not a Dungeness because it's got white pincers, right? Oh, it's a red rock crab. You see, it's got the red pincers over there. Dude, this is a mean fella right over here. Uh, anyways, I don't want to touch it too much. I don't know if this claw is going to extend all the way back, but it feels like if it gets me, it's going to hurt a lot. I'm just going to gently use my feet to um, drag this guy towards the water. It did eat my Pacific Tom Cod, though, little. Uh, got a good meal, you know? Woo! See that? There it goes, okay? One crab back to the Puget Sound. Let me check the time over here. Action actually slowed down a lot. 10.30 p.m., okay? We actually caught those two spotted ratfish back to back. And after that, you know, it was just like nada for quite a while. Just a bunch of crabs. Well, regardless, you know, I came out here with an objective in mind. And we have accomplished it, right? Not to mention, I've been casting the sabiki out here, trying to catch some Pacific herring. And guess what? I just landed myself a squid. Believe it or not, a lot of people come here to the spear at night time to do some squidding, some squid fishing. Man, we got some pros out here. They bring their own lights and they light the whole area up, right? And they have those squid jigs. Now let me tell you something, if I live here in the town of Edmonds, oh you bet, I've been catching my squid and going back and cooking it up too. I heard some of the locals tell me that they taste like very buttery, very good. They're not very big in size as you guys can see here, right, by the photo that I'm showing you, but yeah, they say they actually taste really good and I believe it, man, because I'm a big fan of some damn calamari, you know. Anyways, we're finishing the day. The species are here on the screen, right? We ended up catching that very exotic and cool species from the Puget Sound. And like I told you guys earlier in this video, my reasons may have been a little bit selfish for shooting this particular video, right? I really just want to be able to look back in time, uh, in the future, maybe 10 years from now, uh, hopefully I'm still going to be alive and uh, watch this video right and just be like wow I remember when I did that trip and uh, such a cool species showed up right this is really uh, a species of fish right or better saying chimeras are a species of fish that are usually so deep out there in the sea that you really don't get to see them face to face like that anyways EPF is one of the few fellas that probably come here to the spear and you know give emphasis to this particular species right all part of multi-species and life listing all right time to go back to the hotel it is super cold out here we got a food day coming up tomorrow thank you very much for watching this video as always i realize that the footage may be a little bit sketchy because you know the light is very dim right it is night time but regardless thanks for watching i will see you guys uh next time uh, that one must be confused, has no idea what's going on. <laughs>Oh, no, 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 I'm just visiting, man. Oh. I'm only here for, like, um, tomorrow's, like, my last day. Oh, so really? I was here fishing. This, this is, like, my fourth day fishing here. Really? Yeah, I shot a bunch of videos, man. It's going to be all on the channel. No. no. 
I mean, it's it's very it's very heavily pressured, but you know, no, there's fish here. Yeah, I caught a bunch of different species, okay. but it was just uh, yeah, it was a lot of hard work, yeah. for sure, for That's sure. That's really cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, dude. But if I have a chance, bro, you should bring a fishing rod and come here and fish. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I for fish sure. here sometimes. It's just that it's a little hard with like school and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Well, I tell you what, a lot of dude, it's like 24/7 filled yeah. with people over here, so yeah. the fishing is tough. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, I'm actually surprised you guys recognize me. That's what's up. <laughs> I heard your voice and then I saw your Oh, phone, I and see. You said, and then you said your tank. And I was like, there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, all the clues, huh? Okay. Yeah. Thanks, well, you guys have a nice night.